Hi, my name is Janice and I'm here at West Park and I am a community gardener here. I was on the Sustainable Yard Tour this year in 2024. I have been a gardener here since 2008. The community gardens here at West Park are full. There is a waiting list here, but it is a nice opportunity for gardeners to come here whether they don't have the sun in their backyard or they don't have available yard space to garden. We practice a lot of sustainability here in West Park and I'm going to show you a few things that we do in the garden. Before we get into the nitty-gritty I would like to talk about um, the community garden as a whole. We are trying to develop a community which entails us to do a little bit of seed sharing, which um, entails us to do a little bit of sharing about what kind of practices we're doing. Um, we have a rodent and pest problem here at West Park and how we're trying to avoid that as well. The idea to make this more of a community garden would be we would join each other at the water faucet and that's when we would do most of our talking. But last year I decided to do a little potluck and the potluck entailed bringing a dish, either savory or sweet, from your garden, something that you grew and it was a nice little session where we could all talk about the pros and cons of being in a community garden. One of the sustainable practices that I proudly do is I do some succession planting. So here I have some arugula and I have some radish and I have some turnips that I put in by seeds and these are things that don't take a long time to grow so I successfully, successfully put in the seeds every probably 30 to 50 days and this will probably be the last one until the fall comes. To be clear, succession planting is a way to have continual food. You're not just planting it once, you're planting it many times throughout the season. Usually when we talk about sustainability, you think about the garden. But here in my garden, you also have to think about the things to build the garden. So I have gone through alleys, gone through streets, and when I find certain things that I think that would work in my garden, I take them and I reuse them. I also go through the Winneka days when they can throw out anything and everything and leave to their curb. It's a great way to find things for your garden. I have concrete, I have, um, broken swing sets, I have someone's bed, <laughs> all put in this garden. As you can see, um, I also use the corners to build my beds a little bit stronger. That is all reused. And it's often on the side of my garden, <laughs> which doesn't, uh, doesn't have the most appealing look, but it's going to be used and it was free. Uh, the last thing I'd like to talk about is the rodents and pests that we have here at West Park and amongst Wilmette as it is. Um, over here I had green beans that were eaten more than likely by either rabbits or voles or mice but I instituted this cage right here to make sure that I was able to save some of my green beans. Rabbits have been a big problem here at West Park this year. Um, I've seen lots of baby rabbits, so I have a feeling that they ate my green beans. And also I have here potatoes, and the voles really like to go underground. And without putting some fencing around the outside of the garden, it's hard to keep them out. All of these practices are imperfect, so they don't always work, but here in the community garden it is nice to talk amongst ourselves and create ways that we can definitely try to prevent these pests from coming back again. The best parts about being a community gardener are being able to share ideas with other gardeners, the sustainability, and also getting your own produce from your own garden, and in my case, less than three miles from my home.
Uh, there's many benefits to gardening and the fact that Wilmette has two community gardens so if you don't have the sunshine available in your own yard it's great to be able to come to a community garden but also know that if you do have sun in your yard wherever it is the front of the house the back of the house it's a great place to start a garden.